Uh, next on stage from Shorewood High School under the direction of Dan Baker, this is the Shorewood Jazz Band. Please give them a warm welcome. <laughs> That means now a serious one at time. Yeah. Because I don't actually feel that way. So, what is it that makes you get up so early to go to jazz? You guys busy doing What is it that makes you get up so early to go to jazz? Basically, jazz man is really fun and cool and awesome. Got a lot of cool friends in there. So, that makes it all worth it. Yeah. Okay. Also, I don't, I don't sleep like that, so it's a whole thing. Oh, so so if you did sleep, it would, you wouldn't go to jazz. Oh no. It makes me get up so early. Yeah. Sheer love, love of Ellington and Basie. Ah, uh, man, if I started my day off with civics, I think I'd kill myself. So. <laughs> um, starting with jazz is much better. Uh, we have great people in there, namely Nicholas O. Is he our he's, hero? He plays Barry with me. He's my hero. Okay. Uh, he's a freshman this year, but he's going to carry the band to greatness in the future. I know it. Uh, and some some other notable mentions are Wilson and Blaze and Gianni. Um, maybe Marshall. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Marshall. It's okay. All right. Blaze really... and Wilson. Specifically, their little their little jokes at 7 a.m. get me going. Yeah. Because I do not have energy, but they do somehow. Yeah. It's magic. It is. How has this program affected your life in a positive way? Um, basically. Uh. <laughs> 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 Leave. What are we doing? Yeah, how has it affected your life in a positive way? How has it affected my life in a positive way? Mm -hmm. Let me think. Well, basically, before Jazz Man, I was sort of a... Oh my god. <laughs> Come in. Alright, we're, we're interviewing you. As I was saying, before jazz band, I was just some random schmuck, you know? Should I look at the camera yeah. at you? I was some random schmuck. Didn't have squat in my life to do except, uh, uh, no, not even that. Uh, Fortnite? No, not even that. All I had was Fortnite and that. But now, the, now I got stuff and dang. Yes. And a direction. That's Enough good. said. How has this program affected your life in a positive way? Um, well, it, it, it gets me up in the morning. It's a productive start to my day. Um, and I get to have some shenanigans with the cool kids in jazz band and, and play some amazing music that, like, it, you can't just do that by, by just, like, singing, like, a tune by yourself or even with the, like, singing in the shower, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to have, like, actual people that are here willing to step in and create music together. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I agree. I no, agree. I wasn't done. Oh. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's a beautiful thing. And scene. <laughs> now you're done. <laughs> okay, because he just, he just kind of like <laughs> repeated them. And you just like... This next one is a ballad, uh, Jeeps Blues. going to feature Wilson on the alto. Woo! Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! Um, describe how it feels to be able to improvise a solo and have it work. It was pretty good. Um, you know, I go in there, I'm doing something, 
And sometimes afterwards, people will like say, hey, nice job, and I'll say thank you. And it feels good in my heart, up hearts. Mm. Yeah. It feels really, really good to just know that you got all of the like cool sounding notes and it's just like kind of like telling a story almost. Mm. I think maybe the for the soloing, mm -hmm. it, soloing has given me confidence because uh, confidence to be able to mess up because I know when I solo I never do it perfectly and so now I I allow myself to make mistakes and other things too, like in presentations in English and things. Like I, I can mess up and just keep going, and because that's what you do in a jazz solo. And so I think that's applied to a wide range of things. When you see the growth of students and their dedication to art, how does that make you feel? Uh, student growth is kind of why I do the job, why any teacher does the job, um, and it's really rewarding to see that in a. Uh, in a classroom setting where there is a product and there's an art form that's presented. Um, and this year has really been a testament to that because we've, we've come a long way, so it's been really fun to see. Uh, this year, for one, the band is a lot bigger. Uh, we have a lot of people involved in it. Um, we've played more concerts, we've played more festivals, more competitions. Um, it's just been the next notch up this year. Um, Lots of opportunities for students to play, students to improvise, students to engage with each other, which is really what the jazz art form is. What makes you get up so early to go to jazz? What makes us get up early for jazz? Um, it's fun, that's the first thing. Um, it's early and everybody knows that, but it is so worth it because um, it's, uh, jazz is one of my biggest passions and something that I really enjoyed um, when I was in school and still do, still playing a lot of groups. Um, and it's, it's fun music, it's collaborative music, and uh, 7 a.m. is not necessarily the time for jazz. Normally it's uh, very late, but um, that's, that's when it happens here and at a lot of schools in the Northwest. Um, so we deal with it because it's worth it. So describe how it feels to be to improvise a solo and have it work. Improvising. Um, improvising is important in all kinds of music, but jazz is a genre that is entirely built off of improvisation and communication, collaborating, um, changing things on the fly. Um, and that can be something that's hard to teach. It's really an experiential learning. Like you just have to do it, and you have to. You have to play with other people constantly. Um, uh, it's more than just like, read the notes on the page, play the right rhythms, play the right notes, because we do a lot of that in all of our other classes, but um, jazz is something where you just have to listen, and you have to learn the language by playing a lot and engaging with other people. Uh, if you weren't doing jazz in the morning, what would you be doing? I think for most people, the answer would be sleeping. Um, for me, it might just mean that on the other end of sleeping, playing jazz later, even though I still end up doing that, <laughs> playing lots of gigs. Um, you know, if I were on top of things, maybe I'd go running in the morning. But it's too early before jazz band. <laughs> Perfect.